What's up, everybody? This is Dallas Stone here. I want to do a quick Blender tutorial um, on a few things that are pretty important in Blender. First off is the poly uh, count display. Uh, it's not like Maya where you have to go through a menu to, to pop up a, a, a little display of the polys. It's just all literally right here. I know this sounds really simple and really easy, but it took me a little while, surprisingly, to find where this was. So there it is, right at the bottom right corner. Okay. Um, Second thing I want to talk about is the weld tool. So the weld tool in Maya um, is pretty simple uh, in Blender. Essentially, what you need to do is you need to make sure that um, you know if you're in your uh, in your move tool, right? Make sure you're in your workspace or sorry in your mesh options. Turn on auto merge editing. Turn on your snapping here. Turn vertices snapping, and now you can just move vertices over. It's going to just automatically snap to it, right? It's only one vertice here. Uh, let's turn this off just to show you what it is without it. Leave it there. And uh, if you go to Control Z from X ray mode, you box select, you can see that there's two vertices being selected there, right? Which is not what we want if we're wanting to merge things automatically. Okay, last but not least is softening and edging, um, softening and hardening edges. So first off, this is what we have. Let's get Get out of x-ray mode let's go back to edit mode select all these edges Control b for uh, bevel and we're going to bevel we're going to add in some segments okay that's good what you're going to notice is there's this uh, smoothing that's going on here um, typically this isn't on so let's go object so typically this is usually it's uh, set to shading flat so what you want to do is just go to object you want it to have shade smooth and then you want to turn on auto smooth and your angle here okay so if you turn this off and then you turn this is the default that you're going to see right here shade smooth auto smooth decide your angle here on how smooth you want it to be now if you want to harden on uh, something so you want to harden these two edges control uh, select the edges control e go to mark sharp now you can see that it's sharp okay so hopefully that uh that helps you out i'll see you guys in the next time